Okay guys, so today we're going to make this application, just the Windows Forms application. Um, what it does is, if you run it, um, you can, it creates a PDF, so you can put in your name, type in your mobile, putting in some numbers here. And then your email address, <clears throat> and then just say save PDF. We'll take the name from the first text box, and then you save it. Just show you what it looks like. So yeah, it's a business card. So it puts text onto a background picture that you created. Um, there's different applications for this, such as an invoice or something like that with your company logo on it. So I'll just show you how to create this real quick. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, I'm just going to run through this. You just need your four text boxes or whatever you basically want. Four labels with name, job title, mobile, email, and then one button, the save PDF button. So if you go into the button, what I will do is I will copy the, the code for this in, for this button into the, the comment section. Not the comment section, just the um, underneath the video, I don't know what you call it, but anyway, it'll, it'll be in there, so you can just copy and paste it in, I'll just explain it quickly, um, you need using statements, uh, you need system IO, you first need to add this ITEC sharp package, then you, and then you have to add in these two using statements, ITEC sharp text, ITEC sharp dot text dot PDF, the way you get that is you right click on your project and then you go to manage new get packages and you can go to the browse section you just type in itech shop and then you click on it and i've already installed it onto this one so it will give you the option to install it then you just install it and it will be in this project Okay, then for the button click, we just we just open a save dialog box. Um, we're taking the text box one text, the name of that um, to create the file name, and then this is your PDF size, I text sharp, text rectangle. So we made it this size. This is in points. Um, this is 90 millimeters by 50 millimeters. Um, so yeah, if you want to, you'll have to just do the conversion, like the online points to millimeters conversion. Um, then the, these are the margins. So if you look at your set margins, it takes the the first the first. Um, number is the left indentation then the right and then the top and then the bottom they all float numbers and they're all in points so here we put in the page size that we created here so this is the font that we set the way you get that is um you'll have to go to your to your system your c drive windows fonts and then you'll have to choose what font you like and then whichever font you like click on right click on it click on properties and then you'll have to take uh, this path and paste it in there now you paste that in there basically you just have double backslashes for the c-sharp compiler um, 
and we added chunks this is just a piece of text so the chunk first chunk is your text box one then text box two and then it takes what text you want and then what font you want so that will take that font and then we added four paragraphs and we put those chunks in each paragraph so this is the space before this this paragraph so you can play around with these size with these spacings it's also in points and then my paragraph three i've got a bit more of a of a space underneath it and then the left indentation to put it on the more to the to the right hand side of the page and that's paragraph four then what i also did was i added a um a picture an image and i put that uh on the pdf as well the way you get that is you take your name of your picture whatever you want on your background it, it can be a jpeg this is a jpeg um what you do is you go to your picture and then you copy it and then you go to your actual project file so mine will be in here that's this project pdf creator then you go into that file and then into the bin file and then it depends if you if you have a release version or a debug version you're going to just paste it in there and so you'll just go paste it and give it take that name which is this one here now um it's just a picture i'm actually using as the background to show you what it looks like um okay and then it looks in this folder in either if you're running a release or if you're in release or debug mode it will look in either one of those folders um, depending if this is set to release or or debug and then it will take that um, go to that folder use that that look for this picture with this name and then use that as a background you have to set this to, as underlying so that it's on the background um the scale we made exactly the same as the as the as the page size yeah and then we set the position to zero zero so it will start on the edge of the page this is actually what creates the pdf um the file stream create mode then once it's created it opens the pdf and then it adds all your paragraphs and your pictures and everything to it and then this is just a thing to catch your exceptions and then you just close the document to finish it off with so that's basically it i'll change that to release quickly Try one more. Saved it. And then if I go to my desktop, PDF is here. And there it is. So this will work nicely for a company with like a set background for their business card and with different employees just to type in the different employees or for like an invoice or something like that. So yeah, that's basically it. I'll copy this this uh, into the information for this video, and then yeah, you guys can use it. And hope it helps you guys. Thanks for watching, and cheers.